This is 11522 East Pronghorn Avenue in Mesa, 85212 in Meridian Point Subdivision. It's a 2,024 square foot house built in 2000. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath with loft and it sits on a 5,777 square foot lot with a grass backyard. So from the outside, uh, just a basically power washing of the driveway. Um, noticing a few tiles uh, up above the uh, master bedroom window. It looks like there's actually a missing tile up there uh, and a cracked tile here above the garage. Just above the garage, uh, probably one tile that has to be replaced there. Other than that, just a good power washing of the uh, of the uh, walkways here. The gate leading to the backyard has just come undone, so will have to be uh, resecured here. It doesn't swing very well. Other than that, uh, block walls on this side appear to be in good shape. The fascia does look in decent shape, however, the front door probably will need some touch-ups as far as the paint. There's some holes in it, um, so those holes will have to be uh, filled, and the trim around the front door probably repainted. That the matching paint. Other than that, there's grass in the front. Uh, they'll probably come back uh, with just with irrigation and some seeding and some minor uh, cleanup here in the, this rock area on the side. There is missing uh, the RV gate, so I don't know either what will be more cost effective, either to uh, close this in or reinstall a uh, probably a 14 foot RV gate here on the side. Because um, there does, you know, there's a large room here that's rocked in that someone could probably put a boat or, or some storage of some sort. So, house is electrical, there's gas which is uh, turned off. There is a satellite dish here and uh, would look to be another one up there that the dish has been removed on the side. So just a uh, little bit of clean up here on the front. Uh, just some uh, reseeding of this grass here on the front area. Other than that, uh, the water is on at the house. Other than that, the front does appear. The garage door is okay. There's an opener. We'll get to see that inside. I don't see anything uh, obvious on the uh, on the stucco on the front. So let's go inside. So as we enter, uh, 12 by 12 inch tile leading up towards the kitchen and uh, family room. The living room. Carpeted will have to be changed. Um, two ceiling fans, they're in good shape. So I don't think we need to change those. The blinds appear okay. Um, so I think we should be able to salvage those. Other than that, just painting, it's cathedral ceiling, so a little bit higher up uh, here, vantage point from the uh, stairs. To the left is a uh, powder room, a half bathroom, and uh, so that's just a color change paint. There is a mirror in place, so just basically uh, paint here. Is, uh, then we have a family room, these French doors leading out to the backyard, and this carpeted area family room with this uh, woodwork around the base. So I think you know if we do two-tone, we paint above that line and then the bottom portion uh, in white. Uh, probably need to change these blinds here. This one might be okay. Um, there is a ceiling fan, which is, appears to be okay. Uh, on the kitchen, and the countertops are okay. We're missing a uh, fridge stove and microwave 
the dishwasher is here. So we'll have to put some handles, um, you know, white appliances, white stove, white microwave, and a white fridge over here in this area. So nice uh, sort of Tiffany light in the Eden dining room, dining area right here off to the side. Pantry, just paint here and play clean that tile. Homeowner has put crown moldings in, and you know, I think when we paint, we're just going to probably need to caulk the joints here, which are visible uh, in the corners. Just uh, caulk it with some uh, just so they disappear. These joints in the uh, in the crown molding. Uh, there's another one over here that you see where they've. Uh, you know, cut it on the 45, and uh, again, it just needs some uh, white silicone, and those joints will disappear when we paint. Uh, leading out to the um, laundry area, and here it's all tiled, so the house is a bit dirty, so it's going to need a good thorough cleaning. A lot of junk and debris in here, so we accounted for maybe a container or something. There is a, a workbench here. Um, which I think you know might stay for a new homeowner. These these are always appreciated. Hot water tank in the corner. Um, there is a door here, and I haven't figured out where it goes upstairs. We have a an opener. I have yet to see the remotes. Um, so again, all this uh, junk in here needs to be thrown out. It's the extra pile down below. Um, And some cans of paint and whatnot, but all this debris looks like a, a door to some. If it's a desk or I'm not seeing what goes in the house. So in here, just uh, just cleaning of the tile and repainting this area. Kitchen, you've got to remove this wallpaper at the base and paint. Um, again, the stove, microwave. Um, put some doorknobs, some knobs on in here. Sink appears to be okay. Look underneath, it doesn't appear to be any evidence of uh, water leaking. There's a garburetor there. So. Good storage closet under the stairs, so this will need to be carpeted and uh, repainted. Give you a vantage point from the front door of the room, the ceiling fans, the high cathedral ceilings here leading upstairs. That's a loft area just above and then towards the back. So it's about 2,024 square feet in this house. Good size house for a three bedroom. And there's a bonus little loft here up above. Kids do homework. A separate sitting area. So we're missing a ceiling fan here in this area. Probably blinds. I don't know. Maybe these blinds are okay. We're just missing a wand here. So maybe be able to salvage that. There's an extra blind uh, blade here that probably can be put back in. Again, these matching Tiffany lamps that we saw in the kitchen and in the entrance way. I'll just zoom in on that one there. All match and I think with our, our colors will look very nice. So uh, these two wall scones here. So we'll go into the uh, master. And you know the homeowner did this woodworking you can tell because you still see all these joints here especially in this corner here this one will have to be filled in with silicone when we, we paint but otherwise these crown moldings you know painted white and then the rest of the walls are cream color it will give a nice accent and just uh, change the carpet in here there's two uh, cupboards in this uh, in this master so a smaller one here for him and uh, the larger walk-in 
for her. Place for her shoes up here. And there's a small little patch of, I don't know why they've opened this up, probably fish some electrical of some sort. But that'll have to be uh, put back in and retaped and painted when we paint the room. So the master bathroom, nice large vanity, but it's only a single sink. Um, probably have to change uh, this uh, linoleum here. Probably change it all the way in here while we're, while we're at it. It's just coming unglued around the edges here. So, uh, tub shower combination room. Shower head is there. So, probably just paint and uh, changing the linoleum here in this room. Maybe change this light fixture. Maybe put something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than that. But there's a ceiling fan. The blinds appear to be okay. So now we'll go into uh, bedroom number two, which is a small child's bedroom. Closet blinds appear to be okay. We're just missing the wand on the blinds to operate them. Missing a ceiling fan. And there is a, a cap that needs to be placed on this electrical here. Um, other than that, it's just carpet and paint and a ceiling fan in, in bedroom number two. Bedroom number three same thing, missing a, a ceiling fan in this one. Blinds appear to be okay, just perhaps missing the wand here. Color change. And uh, closet appears to be okay, so just carpet and paint in here. Um, child's bathroom, the hallway bathroom. Uh, shower tub combination, single sink, does appear okay, just probably good cleaning and painting up here. So that's about it on the uh, second floor, so master bedroom, two child's bedrooms, a linen closet over here, the bathroom, and this loft area over here so one ceiling fan two three ceiling fans perhaps a couple of sets of blinds uh, on this floor the linoleum all this woodwork has to be caulked repaint change the linoleum in the master bathroom oh there's a baseboard missing here didn't spot that earlier uh, probably about uh, six to eight feet of baseboard appears to be missing right here between the loft and uh, bedroom number two. House is quite dirty, so I imagine the ducts will need to be cleaned here as well. So. Heading out into the backyard, so these these patio doors, I don't know if they need paint or what they need. Uh, the uh, the rubber uh, is missing on underneath the door, so these will have to be looked at. Um, I think someone tried to paint them and just didn't do a very good job, so probably they'll need to be painted. Um, so there's a, a cement area here and some rose bushes that will need to be trimmed back over on this side. We talked earlier about this gate which is uh, just basically come undone here. The bolts have been removed. I think they probably wanted to take that. They took the other RV gate. They probably wanted to take that one for their house. Uh, backyard basically is a, is a grass backyard. We'll need to reseed this probably or put new sod down. Um, there is irrigation here, so I'm hoping that uh, you know the, the irrigation uh, system is in decent shape and we can just uh, put some grass down in this area. Leave the rock up here in this area, and I just leave the rock there, and then just add some sod here. It appears to have been some form of a a garden of some sort up here in this area 
that they tried to do, but you know, I'd probably remove that and just, just continue with this rock in this area here. Whether or not you want to add some plants here or not, that uh, depends on the budget, but I would just go ahead and, and, and just do some grass all in this area here, making a nice grass backyard. Uh, there's no patio in this uh, in this house, so we uh, we are going to need to add uh, a patio uh, of some sort, some shade in this uh, in this property. So we bought it for about ten thousand dollars under the number, so we we should be able to do some sort of a shade patio here um, off of the house with some, maybe some posts here. To create some shade, probably you know from this corner of the house to the door, create some sort of uh, shade in this uh, in this area here. So in the back we have uh, rock, as I said, leading out to this this door. The AC unit is here, it appears to be in good shape. And then we have these two sections here where some some of the has been removed, some of the block has been removed. So I don't know whether there were two gates at one time here and a sort of intermediary zone. There's no dog door, so I don't know why it would have been done this way. So a couple of choices. Probably the, 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 the least expensive perhaps would be just to, if we don't want to add the RV gate, is just to put the block in here and paint this. Um, and I don't know if these line up. I think they do. Yeah, they do. So I think you know if we if we want to add the lock in here and just close that off and, and not make access to it. Um, at this point here, I don't know what you do with this other than just uh, perhaps cap it off with something. And the same thing over here. Just cap that piece off and then just repaint. Remove the uh, satellite dish. Other than that, I don't see any any issues with tiles at this. Uh, there is irrigation you know, throughout the backyard. So at one point, uh, this grass probably was very nice, nice, nice tree. So looking up above, I don't see any any tile issue up on the roof. So that's 11522 East Pronghorn Avenue. So backyard grass, uh, add some sort of shade element over here. We'll need to uh, close the, uh, either with a, an RV gate or with some block over here. Um, in the kitchen, Besides the paint, uh, we're going to have to add a fridge, a stove, and a microwave. The door doorknob handles. Uh, remove this wallpaper down below and repaint, recarpet. Uh, entranceway, just paint and uh, carpet. Upstairs, paint, carpet. Fix some of that crown molding. Uh, three ceiling fans or rather, uh, yes, three ceiling fans and some blinds. So that's it, 11522 East Pronghorn Avenue in Mesa, 85212.